Welcome back to Grandpa's Time. Hey, grandkids, and hello to everybody else that's joining us today. Thanks for joining us, and I hope you're having a good day. If you like these videos, hit the subscribe button and the little bell thingy so you get notifications. So I see all these other YouTubers say that. So anyhow, today I wanted to talk about etiquette for borrowing somebody's car. You might think you don't need to borrow a car, but you know, you may end up borrowing somebody's pickup truck or something to help you move. What's the right etiquette? Well, fill their car up with gas, or if it's a diesel, fill it up with diesel. Don't take it back to them empty or with less fuel in it than you started, than you got it. That's just rude, for one thing. For another thing, they're never going to help you like that again. So, I had a situation here last year. I wanted to, I was in ADAC, and I wanted to do some scouting for caribou. And some locals let me borrow their pickup truck. So I went and I filled it up with fuel. And the reason that I filled it up, and it cost it ended up costing me about 120 bucks to put fuel in it. But the reason that I did was, well, for one thing, it's the decent thing to do. And it's really expensive out there. And I, I also did it because I may want to ask them if they could give me a ride up to the trailhead when I go hunt next year. Or maybe I want to borrow their pickup someday again. Always treat people the way you'd want to be treated, and you'll find that that'll be reciprocated. And the people will just appreciate it, and maybe they'll have something nice to say about you. Don't leave your fast food junk in there from when you're moving or whatever. Don't leave your paper coffee cups. Clean up after yourself. Give it back to them nicer than you got it. Give it back to them. If you're, oh, you're broke, oh, okay. So you don't really have enough money to fill their vehicle with fuel. At least put more in it. At least leave them with more than they started. It's the least you can do for someone letting you borrow their vehicle. You should fill it up. Fill it up with fuel. Okay, grandkids, that's all I really had for today. Just one of my pet peeves. I've gotten a truck back half empty or empty and it's kind of aggravating so you borrow a vehicle bring it back full thanks for watching okay a little louder welcome back to, to papa's, papa's time all right how about you buddy <laughs> all right that's okay a dino, <laughs> okay, dino. I guess we're doing some dino stuff. All right.